This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, can you turn a 2.5D sketch into a 3D model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a blank canvas here, so I don't have any models drawn out. So the question is asking if I can use this 2.5D canvas here to draw something and then turn it to a 3D model. So the answer is yes, you can. So to start off, I'm first gonna come over here and I'm just gonna change my matte cap to say the matte cap gray one, just so it has a little more visibility. And then in the tool palette over here, I'm gonna select the simple brush. Now the simple brush is a 2.5D brush. And this is gonna allow me to draw stuff on the canvas here. So we're gonna make a little greeble shape here and then turn that into a model quick. So with the simple brushing, I'm gonna come over here to the stroke area and I'm gonna change this to say drag rectangle. And then I'm gonna go to the alpha tab here and I'm just gonna grab say the alpha 28. And then I'm gonna increase my intensity to say something around 100. And I'm just gonna drag this out. And this is going to create a 2.5D shape here. So it's using that simple brush to generate some depth geometry here. And I just did this with the drag rectangle stroke and this alpha. Now I'm just gonna modify this a little bit. So I'm gonna drag out another one of these, but I'm gonna hold Alt as I drag this out, which is going to do a cut process. So I can cut into that 2.5D shape like so. And then I'm just gonna modify this a little bit more. So maybe add another spot here like so. Let me change my intensity to say 50. Add another little detail. So I'm just quickly sculpting in 2.5D here, just using this drag rectangle and the simple brush just to make some sort of 2D pattern. And we'll put a little circle thing here. Maybe we'll get one of these arrows as well. And then maybe we'll put some stuff over here. So let's go back to that square here. And for this, I wanna do like an array of uh, boxes. So I'm gonna go to the alpha tab here. I'm just gonna modify this alpha quick. So give it some tiles, say four by four. And now drag that out like so. I'm gonna hold Alt this time so I get some sort of indentation like that. So creating some sort of little greebly effect. And this is all 2.5D. So none of this right now is true geometry. So I can't rotate it left or right. So after you have something simple like this created, this can be done with any of the 2.5D brushes that are located down here. So you have all sorts of different ones, ones that erase, single layers, all sorts of stuff. So after you have your 2.5D design done, how can you get this to a 3D model? Now the conversion process of taking what you see here and turning it into a 3D model is done by generating an alpha and then creating a mesh from that alpha. So the process to do this, first I'm gonna to come to alpha here and just disable this tiles here, is just open your alpha tab and then at the bottom you have this transfer area. And we're first just gonna do a grab doc. So this is going to take our 2.5D image here and turn it to an alpha. So you can see now I have an alpha map of that little greebly piece I just created. Now after you have an alpha of this, we can now take this alpha and turn it into a 3D mesh. And this is done in this alpha tab as well. And there's this make 3D tab here. And I'm just gonna come through and change some of these settings quick. So for resolution, just think of this like a DynaMesh resolution. So I'm gonna set this to say 1024 and hit enter. I'm gonna turn off the smoothing because I won't, don't want the model to be smoothed at all. I want it to try to get as much this 2.5 detail onto the final version here. And then I'm just gonna click make 3D. And this is going to take this alpha here and convert it to a 3D mesh. So I'm just gonna click that quick. Now after this process is completed, you'll notice you'll have a new tool that will appear over here in the tool palette. So I can come on my canvas now and drag that out like so, and then hit T to go into edit mode. And now you can see I have this as the 3D version of that 2.5D sketch. Now you'll notice that since this was a projection, so it took that alpha and turned it into a model. It may not be exactly what you want, so you may have to tweak some of your settings here, but it did a pretty good job of transferring those details from 2.5D to 3D. So now I can come through and say clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to hit Control N on my keyboard. And when you do this process, it also applies a slight mask. So first I want to clear that mask out. 
I'm going to divide this up once. I'm going to go to the Geometry tab here and just click Divide. And this is going to smooth some of those areas out. So you can see these little windows here look a little bit better. And now I just want to clean this up a bit too. So I kept the double-sided option on over here, which is generating this back-sided geometry. And I don't really need it um, for this little kind of panel thing here. So I'm just going to trim this off really quick. So I'm going to go and hold Control and Shift. I come over here and select the trim curve brush. I want to make sure I delete the lower subdivisions on this before I apply the trim. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift, drag out that trim line. So this is something right there. And now, if you go back to the front of your model, you're going to end up with something like this. So now I have that model and I have trimmed the back off there. So I have this nice little panel. So now this panel is a little bit dense since I just created it out of the geometry there. So it's 172,000 points there. So I can decimate this down to now and say maybe even turn this into an insert mesh brush. So I'm going to go up to the Z plugin tab here and open up Decimation Master, do a little pre-process on this model here. And then say go back up there and say set this to around say 5K and then decimate current. So now I have a decimated version of that model there that contains a lower polygon count. And now I can say turn this into an insert mesh brush. So I'm going to go to brush panel over here and do create insert mesh. Just do new on that. And now let's say I go and select a sphere 3D object here, convert that to a poly mesh. And now I have that insert mesh brush selected. And now I can start dragging this out on any models to my heart's content. So that is the process of how to take a 2.5D image and turn it into a 3D model. So it's really handy and really fast to generate things like this. And then you can use these little bits and pieces to populate other models and create all sorts of different things. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.